What's good YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to fix the issue when you hit stop recording after you started one and it doesn't do it. Usually what it'll do, you click stop recording and it'll just sit there froze saying stopping recording. Click that again and it'll force stop it. Nine times out of 10, it has something to do with how your actual settings are for recording. Your computer can't handle it. So you want to come up to file, you want to go to settings, and then you want to come to output. Once you get to output, you want to go to the recording tab. Encoder, this is where you choose the best one for your computer. You might only have one option. So as you can see right here, it's on X264. I normally use NVIDIA, but a lot of people are already on X264. The settings really don't change as far as down here too much, other than your CPU usage will change if you change it to NVIDIA. So as you can see, if I click that, it'll change this. So all you have to do is CPU usage preset higher equals less CPU. More than likely, you're too far down on this list. So the higher up you go, the less intense it is on your CPU and you should end up having a better time. So if you're on medium, don't even use medium because medium and fast really doesn't make much of a difference in your recording quality. If you're on fast and it's doing this, you just want to move up one, hit apply, hit OK, and then you want to do a test recording. And if the issue has changed, awesome. If the issue has not changed, you want to come in and go up again, go up to very fast. Try that and just keep doing that until you get to a setting that works perfect for your computer. You also want to make sure your profile set to high. Don't put it on main. Don't put it on baseline. Use high. Put the tune on none and your bit rate. That just depends on what you're recording. I usually leave it on 40,000 just in case I'm doing a 1080p video for 60 FPS. That'll be more than enough for that. If I'm using anything less than 1080p, it's still going to look very, very nice. And that gives me a nice, nice quality to work with and start off with for when I go edit the video. You don't have to use 40,000 bit rate if you don't want to. But the lower the bit rate is, you will start to notice change in your actual quality of your video footage. And if this video helped you out, please slam the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.